that it's really a dream come true. And here comes Muscle Hill, who's charging hard on the outside. Muscle Hill is taking the lead, and he's drawing clear. Muscle Hill heads to the handle with the horse to beat. Always in Muscle Hill that makes him such a great horse, A, is speed and determination. He wants to get to the wire first. He knows what I want him to do. He knows who I want him to be. He's like the athlete who puts himself in position to catch that pass shoot that puck better. That's what he does. To be in the Hamiltonian, to have the favorite, to have what a lot of experts say is one of the greatest potters of all time is really a dream come true. Everything has gone well for Greg Peck so far. He could be just minutes away from winning the 13th time in a row and taking the Hamiltonian. And Gary, he's uh, not made any bad steps at all so far. This could be an incredible day for both Greg Peck and Brian Sears. Sears, second three times in the Oaks, wins it today, looking to become the first driver ever to win the Oaks and the Hambo in the same day. Greg Peck, who won the Peter Houghton last year, usually provides the winner book favorite for the Hamiltonian, won it earlier today as well. This is an incredible day for Greg Peck so far, and if he and Sears team up with Muscle Hill, I mean, forget it, that's over the top. The second choice right now, a distant second choice at that at around 5-1 to one is Explosive Matter, and Explosive Matter, a winner of his elimination of the Hamiltonian, but it was so bizarre how he got to the winner's circle. Well, the crowd today shouldn't bother him at all. He's a real cool customer. The day before his Hamiltonian elimination, he's coming back from a routine swimming session at a farm in Cream Ridge, New Jersey. The van that he's in or traveling in has to swerve to avoid another vehicle on a very narrow road. The trailer turns over in the ditch. It's at a 45-degree angle. It takes an hour to get explosive matter and another horse out of the trailer, but guess what? The horse was fine, reacted fine, comes back the next night, and is spectacular in his Hambo elimination. And Ken is standing by with the trainer. Ken. Thanks very much. The hottest trainer at the Meadowlands right now. Right now he won uh, three races Friday night. Noel Daly. Uh, this horse has been through a lot. Uh, some sickness, shoeing adjustments, that trailer accident. How was his week? Yeah, I had a very uneventful week this week, thank goodness. Um, attitude's really good. He seems right on cue. Now, I just hope he has a good day. If he has a good day, you know, we've got a good shot in here. Absolutely. He's been grabbing the track with that chewing adjustment? Yeah, yeah, that seemed to work with him. Um, you know, everything's been good. This, this has been a really good week. How do you beat Muscle Hill? Yeah, you know, I've always thought we were fast enough. You know, we get to see tonight, I just, you know, so I hope he has a good day. If we get beaten on our merits, I don't mind. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. Looking to become the first down under trainer to win the Hamiltonian, Noel Daly. Fourth Hamiltonian. Back at the Meadowlands, 16 minutes away from the Hamiltonian. And coming into this, every family loves to have their picture taken. They would love to, the Miller family, have theirs taken in just a few moments in the winner's circle. With more on their story, the trainer and driver of the Chancellor, let's go to our own Donna Brothers. Love and marriage, as the song claims, go together like a horse and carriage. Julie and Andy Miller prove that every day. Love and at the Illinois County Fairs, we were both driving in a race together. That's actually the first time we ever met, and obviously I thought he was the kind of handsome guy, so <laughs> we decided, you know, once we got married, to kind of specialize where Andy would, you know, drive in the evening. I would try to get, always go to the barn and train him in the morning. It's kind of like if I'm working in the morning, he would watch the kids, and then, you know, when he's racing at night, I would have the kids, and it just seemed to work out real well. And they both love the horses and enjoy coming to the barn, so it's kind of a, a family business. Yeah, not just the husband and wife, but with the children, too. I think we've been doing this for 10 years now. Trainer, driver, wife, with some team combo. And, you know, to get a horse that's kind of maybe having some issues and bringing them back and doing this today is like such an accomplishment. And look, right now, it looks like, you know, we probably can't get to the three, but if we beat the four, I'll be happy because then we pass the horse. Right there, he looks super. Either one of us doesn't really make the final decision. We just 
talk it over and uh, work it out, try and decide what's best for the horse. So then he comes in off the race and says, man, I think the horse can be more relaxed than it was. Well, I'm going to do that. If we do, by luck, you know, get a check or possibly win it, I mean, that, that would be a great thing. Speaking of a check, if you get the biggest check, how do you guys split it? <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tough part. She wants it. I take it. <laughs> Julie is third in the training standings here at the Meadowlands. Andy is fourth in the driving standings. And earlier today, they tied an all-age world record, 150 and 1. Already a big day for the Millers. What a huge day it would be if they could upset Muscle Hill. We get ready for the Hamiltonian coming up. Welcome back to the Meadowlands as we get ready for the Richest harness race in the world. Over a million and a half dollars in purses for this, the 84th edition of the Hamiltonian. And there is the star of the show, was second in his debut last year over this track. He has reeled off 12 straight. Muscle Hill, as you hear the applause from this crowd approaching 30,000 today, as he makes his way out of the paddock in explosive matter standing right behind him. Muscle Hill, one of those that we talked about earlier, every horse that wins this race goes into the history books. He could be taking a step closer to greatness as he comes now out onto the track. Number one, Muscle Hill, the odds-on favorite here, driven by a man who's already won today in Brian Sears. Okay, two different racing styles in his last couple of wins, both very impressive. From the rail today, I think Brian Sears will look to protect his inside position and will try to leave little doubt as to who is the best somewhere between the opening quarter and the half-mile pole. Explosive matter, a winner of his Hambo elimination. His driver, Ron Pierce, has won this race twice. And he was, in fact, really explosive when it mattered in his Hambo limb, going a big second quarter and winning in 152 and 3. Same clocking as Muscle Hill's limb victory. I don't think he'll let the favorite get too far out of his sight. Number three, Symphonic Hanover. His trainer, Jonas Zerenson, also has another horse in this race. David Miller is in the bike. Yeah, and the first of a very solid one-two punch for Swedish trainer Jonas Zernison. He made a break and wasn't 100% in the Dickerson Cup last month, but came back with a strong mile on his Hambo limb at 15-1. Driver David Miller believes that we have not seen the best from him yet, maybe today. Here's the other Zernison trainee, number four, Hotshot Blue Chip. He's driven by four-time Hamiltonian winner, one of the greats in Mike LeChance. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer, Mike LeChance. He's won the four Hambos. He said this about this Colt this year at Hambo. He's a tough horse to drive. He's no fun, but he's very, very fast, as fast as you can get. He's the other horse in here for trainer Jonas Sturdison. He says a lot of his Colt issues have to do with immaturity. Number five, triumphant caviar, Luke Willette, over 8,000 wins in his career, virtually everything but the Hamiltonian. This is the first Hamiltonian for trainer Chris Beaver. A surprisingly good second to Hambo favorite Muscle Hill in his limb last week at odds of 26-1. Driver Luke Willette has been in five Hamiltonian finals. He owns part of this one. Driving legend John Campbell, he's won this race a record six times. He picks up Cal Chip's brute. And you know what, if you're looking for an angle for this race, Ham, uh, Campbell's six Hamiltonian wins. He's driving number six today. That's the best I can do for you. Nice horse on the New York Sire Stakes circuit, but not here, not today. Number seven is Reigns Van Hanover. Along with Cal Chip's brute, the pair of Hamiltonian finalists for trainer Tron Smedshammer, who won Trotting's Triple Crown in 2004 with Windsong's Legacy with Smedshammer driving, which means he won the Hamiltonian as well. But uh, Tron admitted he doesn't have that kind of stock this year. Number eight, the Chancellor. We met the track.